Hey, this is Michael Costa with BPM Supreme, bringing you a brand new how-to video series called Walkthrough, where we'll show you how to navigate the BPM Supreme website and use all of the features to the fullest. Today, we'll be going over the My Account and User dropdown sections inside the BPM Supreme platform. These areas are where you'll find lots of convenient ways to manage your membership plan, keep track of your payments, find support from our customer service team, and more. So let's dive into it. When you first get into the user dropdown menu, you'll see a few options to help take control of your BPM Supreme account. The first thing you may notice is the email associated with the account is listed as well as your customer ID number. Your customer ID number comes in handy if you ever need to reach out to our support team. By providing your customer ID number or email associated with your account, our team will easily be able to pull up your information and quickly assist with any issues. Following those unique identifiers for your account, you'll also see the My Account section followed by Support, Contact, a clickable Enter Full Screen link, and finally a link to log out of your account. Let's dive deeper into the My Account section. In this area, you'll find anything you need to know about your membership plan, payments, and more. Once you click into My Account, the first thing you'll see is all your personal information. This is where you can update things like your email, phone number, and address. Also, while in the My Account section, you'll see a full menu in the left sidebar. Here is where you can select menu options such as change your password, set a profile picture, view payment history, view membership info, manage your subscription, and view your download history. Let's review each option. If you ever need to change your password due to security reasons, this is the place to go. You'll need to have your current password handy, however, in order to select a new one. If you need to change your password because you forgot your current one, just simply log out and choose the Forgot Password option on the login page. This will prompt an email to be sent to you with next steps on changing a password. Here you can personalize your BPM Supreme account by adding your profile picture. You can see how my profile picture is displayed here at the user dropdown. To change or add a new profile picture to your account, choose Upload Picture or Browse Files on your computer to upload. Or you can simply just drag and drop a photo into the designated area. Next is Payment History. Here you'll be able to view all of your past payments by date, when the payment was made, the amount that was paid, and type of membership plan you paid for. The order ID is another detail that you can use to communicate with our support team if you ever have a specific question about your bill. This payment history will reflect any upgrades or downgrades you made in past months. And you can also view and download statement invoices from here. These invoices are like receipts for your monthly subscription payment and will come in handy around tax time. The Membership Info tab gives you a quick and complete view of everything important inside your membership. Here you'll see your membership type, membership status, the remaining number of days you have in the current billing cycle, and your renewal date, which is the next day you can expect to be billed for your membership. You'll notice inside the status area, if you don't have an active account with BPM Supreme, it may read not active or under review. If your account says under review, this means your membership application is being reviewed by our team. You should get a response with feedback on your application within 72 hours. If your membership status says not active, this means that your application has been approved and you're ready to complete your account by entering your payment method. Just hit the subscribe button under membership type to get started with payment. Underneath these boxes, you'll also see your payment history which is the same information we reviewed in the payment history area. There is also a display for your current payment method and billing address on the right-hand side. We've added it here so you can easily view all of your membership information at once. The next section you'll see in the sidebar options is Manage Subscription. It's important to note that this area will only be visible once your membership request has been approved for an account. In this area, you'll be able to choose the type of membership you want and complete your account payment once your membership has been approved. 
This area is also available to those with an active membership who'd like to make changes to their membership plan, such as upgrading from a standard to premium membership. The last option on the left-hand menu is Download History. This is a great feature available to premium members. We're going to go over this section in more detail in another video coming soon, so stay tuned. Now that we've covered all the menu options inside the My Account section, let's jump back into the User drop-down menu. After My Account, you'll find a clickable link to Home. This is an easy way to get back to the main Browse page inside the BPM Supreme platform. You can always get yourself back to the home page by clicking the BPM Supreme logo in the top left-hand side. Next, on the user dropdown, you will find a link to support. When you click support, you'll be brought to the support and FAQ area of the website. From here, you'll be able to view frequently asked questions about the platform, memberships, and keep up with the latest updates that we're making to the platform. From the support page, you're also able to submit a ticket, which is essentially sending a message to our support team. If you are experiencing an issue that you can't solve using the FAQ area, create a ticket here and click Submit when you're finished. Your message will be sent to our support team. Similar to support, the next clickable link in the user dropdown is Contact and can be used to contact our support team if you have questions or you are experiencing an issue with your account. By clicking on contact, you can directly email our team. Then we have enter full screen. Just by clicking this, you are able to view BPM Supreme's platform with a full screen experience. To exit full screen, just go back into the user dropdown menu and click exit full screen, or by pressing the escape button on your keyboard. Lastly, we have Log Out. Simply click and you'll be logged out of your BPM Supreme account. That was our complete walkthrough of the BPM Supreme My Account and User drop-down menu. We hope you learned some valuable tips on managing your membership and using the platform features to the fullest. Once again, this is Mike Acosta with BPM Supreme and I will see you in the next video.